All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Back with another video, but this time, last video was stage one tuning on the Toyota Supra. In this video, it's gonna be the results of the stage two tuning going through boot mod three. And I'm gonna show you guys the results coming up. Let's get it. As I said in the last video, this is not my dyno. This shop has their Mustang dyno to be set up to where it shows regular Mustang numbers. And for the weather correction factor, they have it set up to be a Dynajet correction. The cars have been multiply, uh, multiple times tested on other Dynajets in the area to confirm, and it's been pretty spot on. So I know a lot of people are like, well, why would you put Dyna, uh, Dynajet numbers on a Mustang? A lot of people just like, you know, they know that Mustangs typically read low, and sometimes people want both numbers, and this shop gives the ability to give those numbers out. So. Let's see these numbers and I hope you guys enjoy them. guys this is the difference between a completely stock baseline Supra 100% stock it made 330 almost 400 ish torque now this is run number two is boot mods 3 stage 2 OTS with a downpipe E30 tune and as you can see there's a huge huge difference in it and it made 460 and 513 torque all i can say is wow the car feels fantastic um just for a tune and e30 and a downpipe it makes crazy power and with a custom tune it's going to make a lot more than what that number shows right there so the platform definitely has potential for those that wanted to see the Mustang numbers on a baseline 100% stock on 93, it was 280 and 340-ish. On Dynajet Correction, it was 330-ish and 400-ish. Stage 2, Boot Mod 3 OTS E30 map, it came in on Mustang Dyno at 391 and 437, while on Dynajet Correction, it's 460, 513. As you guys can see, a huge major difference with just a downpipe. Overall, the car sounds even more badass with a downpipe, and I love driving it now. Um, today, I had different tires on. Um, last week, when it was pretty much a stage one tune, I had uh, Mickey Thompson street tires, uh, 20, 285. I think 35 19 on the rear but the car would sway a shit ton and I daily drive the car right now so I just don't want to risk it um, until I get another set of wheels so I actually found today some R888s uh, 295 30 19s and I'm about to go put those on for the track tomorrow hopefully it does well with those new tires hopefully it doesn't sway as much um, it was just definitely getting sketchy driving it down the street um, but that's besides the point this video is mainly to show the difference between a baseline and the OTS testing that I've been doing for the past three days for Boot Mod. Like I said, huge thanks to the guys at Boot Mod and Pro Tuning Freaks. Um, super amazing guys. Um, I'm super lucky that they allowed me to jump in on this beta and for them to send me maps in a good time, reasonable manner. And 
the OTS maps look very, very solid for those that have the Supra and don't want to get a custom tune yet. Those OTS maps are making some power and they'll provide you with good times at the quarter. Um, drag strip if you, that's what you want to do or if you're tracking it, whatever the sense. So huge shout out to those guys. Um, I personally can't wait to be able to custom tune it myself so I can get a little bit more horsepower out of it. Um, I am going to be installing a meth kit, not mainly for power, but these cars heat soak a lot. So I just want it as a cooling factor. That way I can do more consistent runs and that will be on another video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like, please hit subscribe. I will be posting up more videos to come and peace out guys.